Black Magic just changed the game again, and this time it's not with the Ursa, it's with the Pixis 12K, a compact full frame cinema camera packing the amazing 12K sensor from the Ursa Cine 12K. But is it just spec sheet flexing or a true evolution for solo filmmakers and production houses alike? Today we're speaking with Black Magic and diving into what makes the Pixis 12K such a big leap over the 6K, from the sensor tech and frame rates to its pro features, and whether this is the camera that finally bridges the gap between indie and cinema. But before we dive into specs, let's talk a little bit about the Pixis 12K and who Black Magic is targeting with this new release. Uh, the 6K was was uh, our first box camera, for lack of a better term, uh, and we wanted to put a full frame sensor in there, and so we did. And so I think the thing about the that that particular camera was, uh, you know, we made some devices to to go with it, obviously. And um, when we were able to put the 12K full frame sensor into the uh, Pixis body, uh, we wanted to be able to elevate the abilities for the people that are using that that sort of form factor so the first thing being that they could use any of the accessories that they had from their 6k if they decide to buy a 12k uh, but also to get the higher frame rates because it's a faster sensor the interesting thing about i think about any of our cameras is that our cameras seem to appeal to anyone and everyone mm -hmm. uh depending on budget um but but in this particular case you're really giving somebody a great value at in a, in, a, in a nice range where they can if they have say maybe our our uh our larger ursa cine 12k or the upcoming 17k that's starting to ship now uh this uh even the 6k and the 12k pixis would would shoot very nicely with them as, as a b camera i think with this new release that a lot of people who were holding off on the pixis 6k Maybe leaning a lot more towards the new 12K variant. Let's do a quick spec rundown firstly. This new camera uses the Ursa Cine 12K sensor. It shoots 12K open gate up to 40 FPS, 12K 2.4 by 1 up to 60 FPS, and we also get 9K up to 50 FPS, 8K up to 72 FPS, and 4K options up to 112 frames per second. The other thing is the form factor. To have something that small, to be able to put that into tighter places, but still have that 12K full frame capability. So I see both of those cameras, both of the options being available for a while because of the interchangeability of the of the parts uh, that go with it i think between that and the um just the fact that davinci resolve and black magic raw and our color science and our sensor technology allows you to match to any of the cameras so that's one of the things that people have really taken advantage of over the years now in the same body as the pixie 6k we get 16 stops of dynamic range which will give us beautiful images with the depth and quality that we are used to with Blackmagic. The Pixis 12K is essentially the Ursa Cine's brain in a modular body, targeting higher-end shooters in a much smaller footprint. But given this smaller body with the Ursa sensor shooting at 12K resolution, one thing that some people definitely have in mind is the fact that overheating is a concern. But actually, Blackmagic thought of this long before the Pixis 6K was even released. The body itself was designed, the, the, the hardware was designed originally to be able to accept uh, that larger sensor. So um, it was with that in mind that we, we knew we would eventually uh, bring in a 12K sensor to the body style. Uh, that was part of the reason for going to a whole new body, because when you do that, that's a lot of um, R&D and whatnot to be able to, to it's same with the with the Ursa Cine line, right? So we had the 12K sensor for the Ursa Cine line, and then we brought the 17K sensor. So both of them were designed to have these uh, sensors, the uh, larger sensors. Uh, so uh, this is just another example of that. And 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 also we designed some third party products to go with both of those, like the Pixis mm -hmm. monitor and and as I mentioned, the handle and things like that. So. Mm -hmm. This has uh, been, you know, it's a it's a longer uh, vision of what we can provide uh, everybody as choices. So when it comes to filming for long periods of time, you don't have to worry about your system overheating and shutting down on you and you not being able to continue the project. It seems like with this form factor from the initial Pixis release and this new sensor being integrated and more features such as the new autofocus beta firmware for the 6K full frame, 
Blackmagic Design is definitely listening to the community of users and it's really good to see how they're navigating balancing what the community wants and what the company itself has as their internal goals. The way they balance this is actually really great and the team at Blackmagic themselves has a strategy in managing this balance. We do listen uh, to customers all the time and I do like it Every, occasionally you get somebody who'll come in and go I asked exactly for this this is great and I didn't ask for that or that but that's even better than I expected so you know, uh -huh. I think that's always fun I mean it's easy to get into a customer f uh, feedback loop which we don't want to do right yeah. but oftentimes especially when we travel to shows because when we travel to shows we're able to bring some of the engineers that normally don't go out and interact with the with with customers so they get to get some feedback uh -huh. uh, many times those guys will already know what we're thinking about down the road uh -huh. and so at that point they'll hear feedback and go oh that's good we were going to put that in there oh ooh, i heard that one that sounds good you know so did he you know and then then we start add things like that so i think we've always been good about listening to the feedback now uh sometimes some things take longer than others based on either uh you know parts or whatever that we decide to do later but over the years as you as you mentioned you know the box camera was a request for a long time um but we decided to wait until we had the opportunity to do it with the right sensors and 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 release it uh in 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 a black magic fashion um you know a box counter but it still has a monitor on it but that's really just so you can get started and get into the menus but yeah. from there you can kit it out to do whatever you want as long as a team can keep this balance and keep surprising users with features that they love and find extremely useful i think going forward the hardware will only keep getting better and better now, let's talk about price, which right now is quite frankly a tricky situation, especially with these new tariffs by the US government. Interestingly enough, though, it's not as difficult to manage as you would think it may be. According to Blackmagic, the camera itself still has the initial price of $49.95, but any tariff rates apply based on the country that the hardware is being shipped to. Now, while this is not preferred for most people, honestly, it's not something that can be helped, especially as Blackmagic has to follow these guidelines and restrictions very closely. So with the Pixis 12K, Blackmagic is not just pushing specs, they're refining what is possible with a compact cinema body. From the Ursus powerhouse sensor to smartphone management and pro-grade features in a camera that fits in your backpack, this really feels like a true leap forward honestly. So whether you're a filmmaker, a production company or someone who just wants uncompromising image quality without jumping into six figures. The Pixis 12K might just be the most exciting tool in 2025. But what do you think? Is this the camera that you've been waiting for or is it too much resolution for too small of a body? Let's talk in the comments. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for a lot more because I have a lot more deep dive videos I'm going to get into creating soon. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos very soon behind the scenes stuff, a lot more creative content and yeah. Hopefully you enjoy. Thanks for watching and I will be seeing you in the next video.